X Defiant Season 2 reveal and the live version of Season 2 aren't matching up. There's some extra stuff that they didn't tell us about that they snuck in there. And then also some stuff that they did tell us about that's missing. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hey guys, Nightfall here, and now that Season 2 of X Defiant is here, make sure you sub to the channel because I'm going to be bringing you all the news, all the updates, along with some fire content. But you may have noticed that the game has a lot of new stuff that they didn't mention in the reveal or even the patch notes. And on the flip side, it's also missing some stuff. But let's get the easy stuff out of the way first. In fact, let's start off with the most obvious, and you may even be able to hear it right now in the background, the menu music. Season 1 X Defiance menu music was kind of calm, cool, collected, then it spiked up and built up and then fell back down. Whereas Season 2, they didn't tell us they were going to change the menu music, but it is definitely a welcome change. This remix or whatever they've done to it is just awesome. It's a whole vibe. But now let's get into the actual in-game stuff. If you pay enough attention to the kill feed, you'll notice that there is now a new icon that lets you know when someone is killed through a wall. A wall that's able to be shot through, that is. Pretty good addition, but I feel like this is them saying you're not actually dying around walls, you're just being shot through them. The same way they tried to say the cleaner's fire bullets was the reason people thought they were dying around walls, but weren't actually. But either way, at least now we can all see when we actually get killed through a wall and not complain that we were around it, and got shot around the wall. Something else that was in the reveal trailer but they didn't really make a big deal about was the new death screen and now it actually shows you the weapon that killed you which is one of the better updates I've seen but they should also add a little bit more to it to show you which attachments are on the weapon because sometimes just by the picture alone I can't tell what the hell it is. Some of these builds are the most Frankenstein looking builds I've ever seen and trust me I know Frankenstein looking builds. But another change to this screen that I'm not a fan of is they took away the health number from the person who killed you. You can still see the health bar, but you can't see exactly how much health they had. And something else they didn't show in the reveal trailer, but was in the patch notes, was the extended tube bag for shotguns. I'm wondering why they didn't actually showcase that, or any new attachment for that matter, in the actual reveal. But speaking of attachments, what they did accidentally show in that reveal was a new barrel attachment called the tapered barrel. However, it's nowhere to be found in the game at all. And something else was shown on the reveal that we don't have yet is the smoke grenade. And unlike the other things on this list, at least with the smoke grenade, we do have some sort of communication from Ubisoft. It appears per their tweet, the smoke grenade was actually causing issues, which I wonder if this was the issue that was causing the delay of the season launch. But apparently it'll be coming in a later mid-season update as a challenge so we can unlock it so that we still do get it this season. It's just kind of a little disappointing that we didn't get it alongside the release of the new game mode bomb since that was kind of the whole point of bringing that device into the game to begin with. But speaking of challenges, if you did miss completing your season 1 battle pass, don't worry because you can still earn the weapons from that battle pass. That's the L115, the LVOAC, and the sawed off shotgun by completing them as major challenges and all you need to do is earn 150,000 XP on each and then you can unlock them. Just be sure to activate them as you can't progress towards all three at once from my understanding. You need to activate it, complete it, and then activate the next one, complete that, so on and so forth. Another thing that was added into the game is quick chat and this is a small step towards getting a ping system but it's basically just what it says it is, a quick chat. It allows you to say things in the chat quickly like group up or attack A or attack B and stuff like that. I really hope they do get pings added because it's desperately needed, especially when playing with randoms. Another hidden change that they never mentioned, but I stumbled across because I used the P90 like an absolute fiend, is that what used to be called the lightweight mag is now called bonus mags. And it's not just SMGs, it's on everything. Everything that used to be called a lightweight mag or whatever it used to be for that specific class is now called bonus mags, which honestly is a better change because it's more of an accurate description for what it is. It's literally just a few extra mags. 
Another thing that was found is there's a weapon inspect keybind, and by default, it's bound to the letter I on the keyboard. Not sure what it would be on controller. And I'm also not sure if this has always been there or if this is a new addition with the update for season two, but it doesn't actually do anything. It's just there. Another hidden change that was never mentioned is that some of the maps on Capture the Flag, the flag points are moved. I first noticed this on Showtime where instead of the flag points being pushed back into each side, they're more out towards the open, which should make for some interesting games of Capture the Flag when trying to defend that flag. I haven't played a ton of CTF, so I'm unsure if any of the other maps are affected, but let me know in the comments. And one more thing that is definitely worth mentioning, if you tried to throw a grenade at all yesterday, you may have noticed the animation is slightly different. It seems to be a bit faster and arguably cleaner overall, but let me know what your thoughts on that are. So yeah, that about covers all of Season 2's hidden features and missing content. Let me know down in the comments if there was anything I missed. And yes, I know the Highwaymen Max Rev screen is bugged and it looks like trash. The X Defiant team is aware of it and hopefully they fix it soon because it is an eyesore. Something else that you may have noticed throughout this gameplay or maybe even through your own gameplay is that if you're ADSing and you jump with the PP Bison, your hand actually slips up through the weapon. Now for most of the day, I was only playing the Highwaymen, so I did go into the practice range just to see if it was an issue with the faction or an issue with the weapon. And I found out that it is in fact an issue with the weapon itself. It's not anything crazy, but it is just annoying enough to potentially throw you off at times. Something else that seems to have made its way back is screen shake. It seems worse than ever. Really hope they get that under wraps because when my screen shakes, I'm immediately just going to die. It just throws everything off balance and you just can't really aim right. And it's just annoying. Season two has brought so much content to the game that I have a ton of stuff to bring you over the next week or so, including reviewing the battle pass, which I've already completed. And if you think I'm kidding, I'm not. I may not be the best player, but I am damn sure dedicated. And the only reason I ran through all of that is because I want to be able to give you guys the best builds for each of the new weapons and my honest review on them. And I'll also be making a video giving you the nastiest spots for the new highway mentor to get you the freest kills of your life. So if that sounds like something you want to see, or if you thought this bison in the background gameplay was just shredding through people and you want the build for it, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on those notifications so you never miss an upload. And I'll catch you in the next one.